Yes. So welcome to my thirteenth video on complex analysis in the playlist of UPSC Max optional. So we are going to continue the problems based on Cauchy's residue theorem. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So in the last video, we have solved around ten problems on Cauchy's residue theorem. And you can see that at the end of the previous video, I have mentioned one important thing is that all the sum that we have solved is of it, it is a pole of order one, right? Because in the whole term you will have only there is there will be no power. That means, for example, the previous sums we have an equation like something like this, or it can be something like this, right? But there will be no term like z minus on the whole square or z cube minus on the whole cube. There will be no whole power of something other than one. So suppose we have a question like this. Then we say it is a pole of order two. Then we say it is a pole of order three, right? So that's why we are going to so we are going to solve in this so in this group of this, this set of problems, right? So I'll just give you the formula: residue of f of z, residue of f of z at pole of order n at z is equal to z naught is equal to one by n minus one factorial limit z tends to z naught. D n minus one by D z n minus one z minus z n all power n into f of z. This is the formula for to find the residue when we have a pole of order greater than one, right? So first we will find the singular point for this equation. So that means for now you you neglect the power. So if there is no power, it will be a pole of order one. But since there is it is since we have power three, so first you will find the singular point. So that means that z plus one has to be equal to zero. So that means z is equal to minus one is a singular point, but z is equal to minus one is a singular point. But we say it is it is a pole of order three, right? Z is equal to minus one is a pole of order three. If there is no three term, then we say it is a pole of order one. Then the same formula which we did, which I gave, will work out for this problem. But since we have power three here. Suppose if I try to apply that formula, so in that formula we have limit z tends to z naught, z minus z naught f of z, right? So if I try to apply the same formula here, you can see that we will we will arrive at e power two z by z plus one the whole cube. So there will be only one term will be cancelling. There will be not all the term will be cancelling here. So we will left with e power two z by z plus one the whole square, right? So if I apply limit z tends to minus one, you can see that the denominator will become zero, right? So we cannot apply this formula. We can apply this formula when we have a pole of order one, right? So all the sums we have solved is a pole of order one. So if if if, if you apply n is equal to one here, you will arrive at this formula, right? You will arrive at this formula. So we can see it is a pole of order three, right? So first we will find residue of f of z. At z is equal to minus one. So first, you will find residue of f of z at z is equal to minus one. Since it is a pole of order three, we have to use this formula, right? So the same procedure I'm going to carry over here, but I'm not using this formula. Instead of this formula, I'm going to use this formula here, right? So we are going to find residue of f of z at z is equal to minus one, right? Because minus one is a singular point as a pole of order three. So it means I have to substitute n is equal to three, right? Because it is a pole of order three, so that means n is equal to three. So if I if I substitute in that formula, I have one by three minus one factorial. And important thing is that the, our our uh, curve is mod z is equal to two. So that means our singular point lies inside the circle. So therefore, we have to find residue for that point. So and again, limit z tends to z naught. Z naught is minus one here. Because that not is the we are finding it's a singular point. So d n minus one. So that means d square by d z square. I'm just substituting n is equal to three here. Then I have z minus z not whole power three into f of z. So f of z will be e power two z by z plus one whole cube, right? So if I if I change z not to be minus one, I'll have z plus one whole cube. Now we can see that this whole term will get cancelled. So we are left with one by two factorial is two. So limit z tends to minus one d square by d z square of e power two z, right? So we are left with this term. So we have to differentiate this term twice, and then we have to apply limit z tends to minus one. 
so if i if i if i differentiate first time i'm if I, if I differentiate first time i have two times e power 2z if i if i differentiate second time i have limit z tends to minus 1 4 times e power 2z so basic differentiation so if i apply limit z tends to minus 1 i have 4 into e power minus 1 so which will be 1 by 2 4 e power minus 2 so if i cancel these two term i have left with 2 e power minus 2 right so this is a residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 so after finding residue we have to multiply 2 pi i to the sum of residues right since you have only one residues our integral f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into sum of residues so which is 2 e power minus 2 or i can write this as 4 pi i e power minus 2 so this is our required answer right we will move on to the next problem yes so we have to find the area of 3 z cube plus 2 by z cube by z minus 1 in the curve minus 3 right because our uh, center is 0 and radius is 3 now first we will sign singular point step 1 will be finding singular point so you can see that z cube is equal to 0 or z minus 1 is equal to 0 right so z cube into z minus 1 equal to 0 means either this has to be equal to 0 or this has to be equal to 0 so if, if this is equal to 0 then we say z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 3 right because we have 3 whole power and here we have only there is, there is no whole power term here and other than 1 so this means z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 1 or, or just a singular point or you can say or we can call that as a simple pole right so we can use the formula which we did in the previous video for finding the residue at z is equal to 1 and for finding the residue at z is equal to 0 we have to use the pole of order 3 right so first we will find residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 right so since it is a pole of order 3 we have to substitute in this formula which is 1 by n minus 1 factorial d n minus 1 by dz power n minus 1 z minus z naught whole power n into f of z right this is required formula for finding the pole of order n right so limit z tends to z naught so if i apply n is equal to 3 here yeah, because zero for in order to find residue at z is equal to 0 since it is a pole of order 3 we have to substitute n is equal to 3 here yeah. so we will arrive at 1 by 3 minus 1 factorial which is 1 by 2 limit z tends to z naught is 0 here yeah, because we have find the residue at z is equal to 0 so this is our z naught limit d square by dz square z minus 0 whole cube into f of z so f of z is 3z cube plus 2 by z cube now you can see that this two do, with these two terms will get cancelled so we have left with 1 one by 2 limit z tends to 0 we have to differentiate this term twice so if, uh, if i differentiate first time i will have 3 into 3z square plus 0 so if i differentiate again i have limit z tends to 0 3 into 6z right so 1 by 2 limit z tends to 0 18z so this will be equal to 0 right so now we will find the residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so at z is equal to 0 it is a pole of order 3 but at z is equal to 1 it is just a pole of order 1 right so we can use the same formula which we did in the last video so for finding that residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so we can use a simple form formula which is which we have done in the earlier video limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught into f of z or you can substitute n is equal to 1 in this uh, in this formula you get the same formula here so this will be limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into f of z so 3 z cube plus 2 by z cube into z minus 1 so this two will get, will get cancelled so if I apply limit z tends to 1 here, I will have 3 plus 2, 5 by 1 which is equal to 5. So we have find the residue at 0 and as well as 1. Now we want to substitute in the formula which is 2 pi i into sum of residues. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you please watch that video and come back to this video. So 0 plus 5, these are the two residues. So this will be 10 pi i. So required answer, right? 
So now we'll move on to the next problem. We have to integrate 2z by z cube plus 2 z plus 2 whole square z square minus 1 z minus 2 in the region z minus 2 is equal to 1. So first we will draw the diagram. So it means center is at 2, right? Mod z minus a is equal to r. It's the equation of circle. So a is the center and r is our radius. And you can see that center is 2. So 2 is our center and radius is 1. So we have to be, though radius 1 means, so you, you, you move 1 to the left, 1 to the right and 1 to the up and 1 to the down. So this is our circle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is our circle. I'm just making a miss of a diagram. So, <coughs> so this is our center, which is two, and radius is three. So this is one, and this is one, and this is minus one. So these are our four points. Now, first we will find whether the pole is of order one, two, three, or etc. So first find the singular point for this point. So step one will be so z plus two whole square z square minus one z minus two is equal to zero. So this means either z plus two whole square has to be equal to zero or z square minus one has to be equal to zero or z minus two has to be equal to zero. So this means you can see that z is equal to minus two is a pole of order two, right? Pole of order. 2, pole of order 2 and you can see here there is only pole of order 1 because the whole term is 1 so it means z square is equal to 1 or it means z is equal to plus or minus 1 and here you can see that it is equal to 2 so we have minus 2 is a pole of order 2 1 and minus 1 are pole of order 1 are just a simple are, are just simple pole right so all the sums which we did in our previous video are pole of order 1 here 2 is also a pole of order 1 because the whole term is 1 pole of order <coughs> 1 now or I, i'll just Realter the diagram so that it will be so that I can change the question like all the points like inside so two two minus one zero one okay I'll 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 name I'll replace that as z plus two equal to three I'll just make some moderation of the question now we can see that our center is minus 2, right? Our center is minus 2 and radius is 3. So that means minus 1, 0, 1. And if I move, move 3 to the left, I have minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So since radius is 3, I'll have something 3 here and a minus 3 here. So this is our circle now. So this is our circle now. So don't. Yeah. It may not look like a circle, but adjust with it. So center is minus 2 is our center and radius is 3. So if I move 3 to the right, I have minus 1, 0, and 1. So this is our radius and minus 5 here and 3 to the up, 1, 2, 3 and 3 to the down, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Now you can see that which of them are inside the region. So minus 2 is inside the region. So we have to find the residue of minus 2 by that by using the pole of order 2 formula and z is equal to plus and minus 1. So plus and minus 1, plus 1 is inside the on the circle. So you have to find 
and minus 1 is also on the inside this region so you have to find so that is equal to 2 is outside the outside this region so we don't need to find the residue for that is equal to 2 so we will find the residue for that is equal to minus 2 we find residue for that is equal to 1 and we find residue for that is equal to minus 1 and then we add all and then we multiply 2 pi i right so first we will find residue of f of z at that is equal to minus 2 now since it is a pole of order 2 so we have to substitute n is equal to 2 here so our formula is 1 by n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to z naught d n minus 1 so n d n minus 1 will be our n is 1 so just 2 minus 1 by d z power 2 minus 1 z minus z naught whole power n into f of z so our n is 2 and z naught is z naught is sorry limit z tends to z naught right limit z tends to z naught d n minus 1 by dz n minus 1 z minus z naught whole power n f of z so if i if i replace n is equal to 2 and z naught to be minus 2 you have this 1 by 2 minus 1 factor which is nothing but 1 so we have left with limit z tends to minus 2 d by dz of z plus 2 whole square into f of z so our f of z is 2 z by z plus 2 whole square z square minus 1 into z minus 2 so this term and this term will get cancelled so we have left with limit z tends to minus 2 d by dz of 2 z by z square minus 1 into z minus 2 so i leave that as exercise you just apply u v u by v rule and then after applying u by v rule you just substitute limit z tends to minus 2 right so you keep this constant v u dash minus u v dash by v square <laughs> you apply this and then you apply limit z tends to minus 2 you will have the residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 2 now we will find residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so this is very easy because it is a pole of order 1 so we, we use the same formula which we did in the previous video so residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so since the pole of order 1 we will be we straight away apply the same formula limit z tends to 1 z minus z naught f of z so limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 our f of z our f of z is 2 z by z plus 2 whole square z square minus 1 into z minus 2 right yes so this term and this term will get cancelled or i can i can write this as z plus 1 into z minus 1 so we have left with limit z tends to 1 there will be no derivative sign here because it is a pole of order 1 so 2z by z plus 2 whole square z plus 1 and z minus 2 so if we have the limit z tends to 1 i have left with 2 by so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 square is 9 and z plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so we will have minus 2 or this two we can cancel so minus 1 by 9 is the residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so same way you find residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 since it is also a pole of order 1 so we straight away apply the formula limit z tends to 1 z plus 1 into f of z or f of z is 2 z by z plus 2 whole square so i can write z square minus 1 as z plus 1 into z minus 1 into z minus 2 this term will, this term will get cancelled so if i apply limit z tends to minus 1 i'll have minus 2 by so minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so 1 square is 1 and minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 so you have left with minus 1 by 3 right so we have found residue for f of z that is equal to 1 minus 1 and also we, have, we I left that as exercise the residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 2 so in order to find integral lower c f of z dz so answer is 2 pi i into sum of residues so answer first one you got and second will be minus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 3 right this is a residue for f of z at z is equal to 1 and this is a residue for f of z at z is equal to minus 1 and this is a residue for f of z at z is equal to minus 2 right so you add all three and you multiply 2 pi i you will get the required answer right 
so the important thing is that so first you have to find whether it is a pole of order 1 2 3 or pole of order n if there is no whole term in the question it is a pole of order 1 so you can apply the general formula suppose if i have whole power 2 now the important thing is you have to understand the difference between the power inside and whole power right so you don't think this is a pole of order 2 right here it is a pole of order 1 because the whole power it is only 1 but here you can see that the whole power it is some integer right so in this video we have learned how to find the residue for f of z when we have a pole of order greater than 1 right so in the next video we will solve some more problems on complex using Cauchy's theorem, Cauchy's residue theorem and I introduce one more formula so we have only three formulas the first one is the dental formula and second is the pole of order n formula so I will introduce another formula in the next video and I will solve some problem on that formula so and then I will solve some UPSC problems which appeared in the last year right so we will see in the next video goodbye thank you